today we're talking about E3. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what E3 is, uh, you're gonna learn today, okay? E3 used to be an industry show, mm -hmm. okay? When we were with Game Church, we did E3. Matt, did you ever get a chance to go to E3? I didn't. It was, dude, it was awesome. No, you've you've rearranged my my rolling mouse. It's backwards for it. me too. I did not do that. Okay, oh go ahead. Oh my god. <clears throat> um, sorry, we're having a little uh, a kerfuffle. Yeah, Matt, um, his uh, it's backwards. What what are we saying here? Your um, uh, your, the, the ink on your on your mouse it's is low. Yeah, the ink. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, anyways, ink, go ahead. Subscription. So E3 used to be an industry show, and by that I mean that you could only get into E3, you could only show up there at the entertain, what is it, the Electronic Entertainment Expo. Yeah, there um, it is. Shortened to E3. <clears throat> you can only go if you were in the industry. Would so you? if you were a publisher, um, designer, developer, uh, it's media, Anybody, yeah, one of anything those things. like that. They opened it up to the public after that, um, I think the last year that we went was the last private year um, for E3. I think you're right. And it was so cool. Like we were, we were there. We had a, a ten by twenty booth. Yeah, you and the boys, boys were there. <laughs> um, it was really cool because we we had a ten by twenty booth, and then there was like one more booth on the corner, <clears> and then <throat> immediately across the aisle was Disney Island. Like it mm -hmm. was that this was the year that Disney Infinity 3.0 was about to come out, mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. people were rapping. I mean, yeah. rapping around. Rapping the around to hall. see the the Jonas Brothers acoustic performance. Absolutely, well, that's only. the one. Yeah, they wanted to get the Jonas Brothers figure for Disney <laughs> Infinity. The pop. <laughs> but seriously, that's what they were. You would just stand in line, and then they would give you one. And these were things that were not on the market, so those things would turn around and sell for six hundred bucks immediately. Easy. Immediately. Um, but E3 as it stands, it was, it was a time for everything to come together, right? Like it was, Hey, if you have anything new coming out mm -hmm. in the game, video game world, mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. is when you do it. And so we started to see all these different like showcases pop up and Microsoft <laughs> talking about all their like Bethesda acquisitions and like, like this was in all this stuff was like really happening. Um, I remember <clears throat> that year it backed up to an Academy. That year, uh, that's when Fallout 4 dropped, and Bethesda was like, hey, Fallout 4 basically comes out tomorrow. Um, it's crazy. That was the year I threw my wallet at the TV. Did it work? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I did, actually. I've been thinking about playing that game again. <laughs> it's worth it. it but anyway, so E3, if you, if you didn't know what it was, that, that's kind of basically what it amounted to, was the biggest show mm -hmm. <clears throat> in video games. And it encouraged other you know uh, studios and developers to up their game yeah so get in on it it didn't happen <laughs> a couple of years ago okay what i mean they just were like oh it's online and then they were like mm -hmm. it's been a slow we decline done. a little decline yeah down and down and down which was disappointing because i personally was always excited to watch it or not always when i learned it was a thing there I was, was some real bad stuff it. there were some real real bad acts Announcements. Oh, oh so bad. About, uh, I'm like, what do you yes. mean? Yeah. Like when they, <laughs> they were just very, there were some very good stuff, but there were some very bad, just audio acting. You want to call it acting? Perform? I don't know. Announcing? Being? Oh, being a human? <laughs> Existing? Got, yeah. They got um, like, like um, internet personalities, like YouTubers and stuff like that. Streamers. Yeah, that's, that's when to come and do that. And this is like specifically with, with Ubisoft. And so it was a train wreck, but it yeah. was one of those things where it's like, I want to watch something else. Yeah, but I yeah. know I can't. you gotta hear the announcement. Yeah, I can't I watch anything else. I know, <clears throat> I, I remember. Well, the that. thing of it like, was, was that, that like, that wasn't, like, E3 had nothing to say or do about that. Yeah. It was just, during, it's, it's like, I say this all the time, when people come to Austin during South by Southwest and they'll say, Oh, I played South by. That that just means that you had a set anywhere, anywhere in Austin. In I know. I think that on that weekend. That too. Or, or, or do, during those those two and a half weeks, right? Yeah. So so playing South by could mean hey, I played a thirty minute set in a random bar to ten people. Mm -hmm. But guess what? I played it. You played yes, it. Yes, absolutely. Like, did you technically? Yes, but no. I've I've played it. So there's I no quality control across the board with E3. <laughs> E3 proper was phenomenal. 
<laughs> like it was it was in the Staples Center in downtown LA. Like oh, it was yeah. nuts. Absolutely nuts. <laughs> I there there's no way you could have gone and, and seen everything. No way. Mm. And so well, so that's I where tried. the Lakers, Lakers play there, so we could have gone and... Uh, not during no, E3. No. <laughs> Anyways, the point of this topic is, <laughs> was this E3, I don't want to call it an idea because it was a real thing, is E3 needed to kind of rope in some of these developers who now we're looking at this summer, there's no E3 in any way, shape, or form, and they're kind of saying, we're going to do these press releases or press conferences here, 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 and here, and... It kind of seems like a class project where everybody's bringing, here's my little section of the project, but there's no rubric or syllabus or teacher saying, all mm. right, here's the order. It's kind of, we're throwing the stuff out. We're going to announce what we're going to announce. There's a big thing called Summer Game Fest, which is by that guy who does the game awards, Jeff something. Okay. Yep. And it, <laughs> it's supposed to be happening June 9th. Thought I wrote down the day, but can't find it. First week of June. Pretty soon. And they, they have not announced who is going to be there in terms of press conferences. Oh, we'll be anything. There. They haven't announced yeah, we'll, we'll anything. It. And it's coming up on a little bit over a week away. Nobody knows what's happening with that. There's... It's just... So they're, they're trying to replace what E3 was kind of like with... They have some of their little events, the live cross-industry showcase, whatever that means. They're doing a Netflix show and game announcement event. A oh, really? Tribeca Games Spotlight thing. And that's fine. Okay. But what about the stuff that, like, we care about? So, Where is like, it? <laughs> it's, it's really is interesting it? <laughs> because I, I, somebody has to. So, yeah. Somebody has to. And here's the thing. I, I say somebody has to because somebody will. And so like, yes, if there's no. a vacuum, if there's a hole there, that something is going to fill that. You kind of want people who know what they're doing and will take it and do it well to fill that void. Mm -hmm. Or else somebody else will come along and try to do it, do it well, and then just absolutely demolish it. It'll never mm -hmm. come back. Yeah. Like it'll it'll sour everybody. They'll be like, ah, I mean, well, nobody nobody can do it like E three did. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. now there's there's some extra or other conferences that are gonna happen this summer that have been confirmed happening this summer, but there's no date that's been officially announced, I don't think. Like Xbox Bethesda, PC gaming, there's gonna be an mm -hmm. Overwatch one, there's a THQ Nordic. But those are all kinda happen happening like peppered around. Nobody's oh. really coming together and saying wh Overwatch which, specific? An Overwatch specific one. Well, I mean, if you look at it, like Nintendo had already been backing out for what years? They they, they missed a few. They're like, hey, we don't need you to be able to put together a half-hearted thirty-minute. Um, well, Nintendo's like a giant. They don't need that. And I think honestly, their their treehouses and their like the the stuff that they have done, like I feel pretty good about them. Like I feel like I feel like really? they do a pretty. good... Oh man, my biggest because he, tree houses. You know why? He... In general, well, I feel like they announce a lot of good stuff. Do, they do you mean the like, IRL treehouse, or oh, do you mean like their their digital? Tree I mean houses? the digital one. I thought they're like I think overall they're fine because every one of those. How much game, are they paying you? All yeah. of it. Reggie's coming over. <laughs> uh, Reggie's is he bringing here. His, is he bringing his copy of Breath yeah. of Wild too? Yeah, he is. No, I feel like in every one of these like E three type shows, whatever company it is or whatever. Uh, yeah, whatever company it is, like you're always gonna get games you're like, yeah, I don't care about that. Yeah. But I feel like Nintendo yeah. does them enough though that where PlayStation will have their state of play every now and then. Mm -hmm. They're pretty unpredictable. I feel like Nintendo they are unpredictable, but they do them <laughs> they do them pretty often. It's They're like, so unpredictable. They were doing them like yeah. once a month there for a little while. Mm, so surprise. I feel like Nintendo wakes up and is like, You guys wanna Yeah, I guess you wanna so. do it you yeah. wanna do a treehouse today? Okay. Like, yeah. all right, a, a, a digital direct, that's what it digital is. Digital direct, direct, yeah. Digital direct. So I just think it's interesting that people are kind of like flopping around like fish out of water this summer because they're like, should we announce something? Do we have something? That means a lot more work for us to try to do our own thing. Does that mean more work? When should we, like a lot of questions and kind of like, 
<clears throat> Should we do something? <laughs> well, so I, I think that it's it's worth noting that, you know, we did talk about this, like PlayStation and, and Microsoft, I'll say Sony and Microsoft, they did kind of back out of E3 proper mm. kind of a while ago. Um, and they were able to do whatever they wanted to do. And Sony did a lot of really weird stuff. They had that one awesome like yeah. live orchestra pit, you know, that's when the God, God of, of War. War was coming yeah. out and they did, yep. you know, yep. all, it was so freaking cool. And then the next one was like, they traveled. You remember that? They like, like, like went around and, and traveled to different, different spaces. Um, Vaguely. And like that. But Xbox, Xbox is just like Microsoft's going to show up and they're going to do what they got to do. They have too many, they have way too many like uh, developers and developing companies yeah. mm -hmm. to not have they a have showcase. To do they should be doing one quarterly, probably. I know. Um, their own thing. I think that they, they gain a lot of um, somebody bacon downstairs. There's probably food coming at some oh, point. Oh, yeah. man, that smells so good. Sorry, I got sidetracked. <laughs> um, they, um, they, they, they gain so much momentum from being a part of E3 because yeah. people are already looking yeah. for things like, oh, it's okay. Well, what time is it? All right. Well, here's the E3 watch thing. Mm -hmm. So having something that catches that, a net that catches all of that, I think is, it's, it's worthwhile. Like, it's I just think structured. It's, it's, it's structured in that way. This date, this time, everybody way ahead of time knows exactly who's going to yeah. talk when. I wonder if the companies got tired of feeling like they they lost as uh, well. Like, oh, a PlayStation totally beat mm, that's a good them point. this year. So, like, if you are only doing it on your own time, like, sure, you're going to have it's ups and downs in games. It's compared to no your, one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I could see that. I don't like it, but I get it. You know? Yeah, me too. Hmm. I just want to know what's the next um, uh, Watch Dogs game. That's all anybody cares about. <laughs> oh, yeah. Watch That's all I'm talking about. Watch Dogs 4. <laughs> I, wa I want to watch Cats. So Ooh. Watch Cats? No, where's my Breath of the Wild 2? <laughs> and if, well, maybe they'll say Couldn't something this summer about it. Maybe they they'll have their thing say and say Jack this. Squad. They you don't know that. There's the this... 35th anniversary almost completely. They gave me a game and watch. Because they didn't know. They gave you Skyward Sword. I didn't say yeah, anything about that. 35th anniversary, though, as a thing. Well, you know what I, I would like to see? Splatoon 3? Four? It's coming out in February. So you got a while to wait. I want to see... Ubisoft talk about their Star Wars game, their open world Star Wars game. Oh yeah, no. They, they had a big to. one. Why? They don't want to. <laughs> Wait for E4. E4. <laughs> yeah, E4. Maybe yeah, that's. Yeah, mind your business. Mind I, I want to see stuff like that. I want to see some different stuff. I would love to see more information on a new Assassin's Creed. I bet you would. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen the Star Wars stuff yet. Honestly, just because of Star Wars. Well, day celebration month. So I, I told they, you they did release some things recently, but I told you I have the like. There's a guy at my church that's working on like actively working on that uh, Knights of the Old Republic right remake. When's it coming out? They have no dates. They have hmm. no dates. Just later, basically. Later. Yeah, look forward at E4. There's a nut. There's another uh, like development team that's joining in with them um, right now, and so. No, they're not like combining studios, but like they're coming in to help work on the project as well. And so with that comes, you would think that would make things go faster, but actually ends up slowing things yeah, down. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I'm ready for Star Wars and Breath of the Wild 2. Mm, what and, else? And uh, what else? A skate, skate 4? Skate them if you got them. Right? Skate 4 from EA. And we'll also want that one. I want no. the mar new uh, Mario Rabbids. No. Why? I love that game. Okay, fine. It's Go so ahead. Fun. I never played it. I'm not a tactics guy, though. It's That's... so fun. But it's cute, and it's fun, and you might even like it because it's enjoyable. I'll prove it. But because it's fun. <laughs> because it's fun. Yeah, well, I don't like fun games, so. Eh, yeah, yeah, a lot of good games coming out, honestly. They, they're, we're saying we want an E3 to keep things structured, but there have been, I forget, like, just how many games have been announced. Like, I just remembered that there's a Wolverine game coming from the same oh, people yeah. who made uh, 
Uncharted and, and Naughty, Naughty Dog. Dog. Naughty yeah, Dog. they're doing a Wolverine game. It'll and come out sometime the, okay. after Spider Man Two. Okay. So like we forget all these things because we see all like I don't different. Think I've ever heard of that? You saw it. You oh, saw it. We talked about it. Yeah. Briefly. Had Wolverine sitting at a bar and drinking, and then oh, he pissed, that's he not him down a cinematic like, damn game. Insomniac. It's out. Insomniac. Insomniac. Yeah. Not not uh, Naughty Dog. I thought not, oh, I thought okay. they're doing the Wolverine game. Insomniac is. Insomniac oh, is Spider Man. I'm, I'm, I'm confused then. They're Insomniac. doing another. Insomniac. I think. Oh. I think they're doing some other type of Marvel game, though. Naughty Dog is. But I don't know what. I don't know what to tell you. Is, are they doing the one <laughs> rising something sun? Either there's a lot of Marvel stuff coming out. Hey, Naughty Dog. Let's see we can figure games. it out. Is there a list I, of games they're working on? <laughs> the, the game that I'm that I'm I'm like excited about is Marvel Snap. Snap. Marvel Snap. Yeah, Marvel Snap. That's the, the Card game. game from yeah. Hearthstone. Yep. Hearthstone yep, Marvel from game from the the Hearthstone developers, and mm -hmm. that is such like Hearthstone is such a smooth mobile experience. And I give it a try. I like I like the concept of it. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. it, it being you know what is it, like eight turns or something like that. Um, I'm interested in it. I'm in for that. Yeah, yeah. So there's just a bunch of games that we forget about because we're they're just constantly pumping them out. Yeah, like, yeah, but they the also never is. update stuff in a timely manner or order. So there's they, like, I'm excited I about know, Wolverine. They, Guess what? I forgot. My yeah, bad. they they could do a better <laughs> job about like reminding us. No one said somehow. Um, well, who knows? Maybe maybe they'll uh, maybe they bring back E3. I would like to know why. Like, what do we know? Why Kate? Why why did E3 go away? Not really officially, but there okay. was stuff that people conjectured about as to why the overall kind of like hype about it and people going to it started to decline and one was that it became a public event as opposed to industry Spectacle. only oh, so everything kind of got clogged so when <clears throat> when there were opportunities to demo a game normally it would be oh. press only or or this industry only kind of stuff and so they couldn't really demo those it. games because the lines were so long yeah of everybody wanting to play it that they were like this isn't worth it for me to go here anymore to try to demo this stuff and play all of this stuff because there's so many people here. So it became kind of a a thing with the journalists where they just weren't stoked to go there because yeah. <clears throat> you know, it it just became a lot. Normally with that stuff you would schedule a time to come and play. Um and E3 does that as well. But when it's industry only, you don't have to you don't have to schedule time. Mm -hmm. like, a lot less people to manage around in and yeah. out, and shuffle in and out of yeah. demoing and. And the this demos kind were longer stuff. too. Like I, yeah. I remember, like, you know, playing Guitar Hero World Tour and Ooh, playing good one. Destiny uh, before Destiny Two dropped, and like all this stuff. Like it was, like it was an experience when you yeah. were in there. They were like, yeah. "Hey, we want to show you this stuff." It wasn't, go play, you know, five ten minutes of Man Eater. Like it was like let's let's walk you through the things that are changing and, and being shown here and so like it was it was mm -hmm. awesome like it just it just was an experience and I'm glad that I got a chance to do it. I also didn't have a huge desire to go back after that, <laughs> um, but I enjoyed as 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 a consumer, I enjoyed watching it. I enjoyed engaging in in E3 and so. Mm -hmm. But we, yeah. we watch the Game Awards. We watch yeah. Nintendo. Directs. Well, that's why it's like we... the Game Awards are for are for everybody to watch and enjoy and all that. This, oh, don't, he's don't not. You me. good? He Look at him. You good? He's or... choked a little bit. Okay, he's just fine. choked in my spit. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> the the Game Awards are for that wider yeah. audience of people, and it's there for entertainment. E three being an industry show wasn't necessarily, you know. Yeah, a circus for people to laugh and have a good time. It was information and demoing and like seeing yeah. what's going to happen. And once it kind of started to shift towards that, we're going to have a petting zoo or whatever here for Basically. all you guys to enjoy. <laughs> and then <laughs> and it, it loses the, the legitimacy and people, companies don't really want to invest all this money into something that's more of a spectacle when it's supposed to be for industry professionals. Dude, and real talk, that E3 booth was insanely expensive. Mm. Oh, I bet. Insanely expensive. Do you want the number? Yeah, yes, I do. $20,000. Holy Ooh, for a Staples Center, a corner of the Staples Center, you said? 
or the a, convention a 10 by 20 yeah, the la convention center was it it was nuts like mm. just absolutely bananas welcome crazy. to california <clears throat> and so Oh, when you God think of the body. actual, not just time, energy, but like the monetary investment, your your ROI, the return on that investment is so low. So low. Mm -hmm. Yep, it's true. So, anyway, I, I think that them doing their own thing is good. Yeah. Um, so just... long as they keep doing it. Which yeah, I think that Microsoft it, will. Like, I think that Sony sometimes. will. Um... I feel like Sony needs. They bought Des, They bought Bungie. So we need. They need to do something with that. They haven't talked about that at all. Um, again, Nintendo's constantly got stuff. We know that they've got things about Breath of the Wild too. Because we've Just seen some tell new me. things. We've seen some new things. Give me more. Yeah, exactly. I want to see gameplay. I want to see. I want to see ten minutes of gameplay in Breath of the Wild. And then a big announcements about rabbits in space. And yeah. all rabbits. That's the next one. In space. Well, well, Mario I'll be Odyssey so happy two. if their next <clears throat> treehouse thing is all about Mario Rabbids and nothing about Breath of the Wild yeah. 2. <laughs> if that happens, I will quit this podcast. Or if it's like, oh, hey, you guys like Metroid? <laughs> Boom. Too bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All, all Fable all the time. Well, hey, what a cluster this whole thing is. But this is the industry, and this is when, you know, when you're trying to, to herd all these cats. Mm -hmm. Um you got to remember, I think that this was about the time E3 was about to, about the time that Halo came out. Um, Halo Infinite, they dropped that <clears throat> that trailer that was hot white garbage. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now and you're so, choking. What's happening? <clears throat> well, Something in the air. Yeah, spores. Spores. Yeah. spores. Oh, mold? Black mold? Yeah. No, it's like the spores from Last of Us. Oh. Same. It's the same thing. <laughs> Maybe it'll make me smarter. Yeah. Yeah. But that, that the trailer dropped for Halo <laughs> Infinite, and it was like, wow, this concept is cool, but it ain't ready to launch in December. Yeah. Um, so the f the need to rush things out, maybe that'll be lessened. Like, hey, you want to do it in the fall? Do it in the fall. Um, you want to do it in the spring? Whenever. It doesn't matter. You don't have to drop at E3. Show previews and little sneak peekies yeah. instead of rushing to drop something. Everybody will take anything yeah. at this point. I don't know. I mean, I do know. I have a, I have an idea. I have Just, an opinion. Yeah, don't tell me. <laughs> but hey, we want to hear from you. Hit us up on Twitter at Free Play Podcast. Let us know what you think about E3. Mm -hmm. What do you think about um, these game shows in general? Should they come back? Uh, do you like them being separate? Um, do you watch them and engage with them at all? I don't know. I know sometimes we like to try and stream them. Um, you know, kind of watch alongs as mm -hmm. we can. But they're so freaking random these days that you can't even. Mm -hmm. There hasn't been one in months. Can't even guess uh, when it's going to be. So <clears throat> can't plan.